I'm Yolanda Jones and I'm the programs director at Ladles of Love and together with our infield teams we focus on providing food relief to the most vulnerable in our communities and proactively address food security. The Nourish Our Children program provides under-resourced early childhood development centers in impoverished communities sufficient nutritious food to serve the children two healthy meals a day. What do you think has been the result of poverty in the community where you serve? When the children are hungry, they can concentrate at school, of course, yeah. and they drop out. Once kids have access to nutritious food on the regular, do you see a difference in them? Yes, I do. Because a happy stomach yeah. is a happy child. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and a happy child yeah. is the child focuses at school. Yeah. It's a healthy brain. At Ladles of Love, we believe you cannot educate a hungry child. So, we lead with food. And the difference this makes in their holistic development is monitored and measured. And in line with our findings, we support the centre with nutritional plans, training and mentorship and the positive results are staggering. After all, these are our leaders, the future of our nation. So we are here at one of our community dignity kitchens where we feed the most vulnerable in our communities. We started this kitchen just to, to bring love, kindness and hope to the um, kids of Shows Novo. And so at your kitchen, how many people do you feed more or less on a daily basis? So on a daily basis, we feed, we feed about 195 kids yeah. and also 45 to 50 um, adults. The ladies of love doing for us because if it's not for them, then we will go lay hungry and there's most people that don't give us nothing. So I love what you do. And I appreciate them. And everything that they do for the homeless, I appreciate them. Okay, so today we are here with Harvest of Hope, who operates as an aggregator for more than 90 of our urban farmers. And we are here on the day that they've harvested all of this amazing veg. I'm here with Nolita, and she's going to tell you a little bit about the projects and the farmers we work with. So because of this and the help that you are getting from these guys, we are able to help all of the 90-something farmers. That's amazing. If you didn't have a route for you to get to market, for these veggies to be sold, how would that impact the farmers? Hungry, poor, not going to school. Our children, they won't be able to go to school without money. Sure. So due to this, we are able to feed our families. Our Feed the Soil program has a three-pronged approach. One, divert food waste away from landfills. Two, convert the food waste to compost. Make that available to our urban farmers free of charge. And then three, provide them with a route to market for their veggies. So you can be part of the solution, whether you are a household or part of the hospitality industry, and help us secure food for generations to come. The Dream Social Enterprise Development Program for Food and Agripreneurs is designed to mentor, support and enable micro and small businesses. Realize a Dream help our businesses to employ more young people within our communities, not just Langa community, different communities. So we also like share our skill with these young people so that they can adapt a course within the communities and also to put bread in their table, in their families. Tell me a little bit about your business. 
my business is a, it's a, it's a small bakery mm. uh, that he does biscuits, muffins, bread, almost everything that you can get from a bakery. From a bakery. bakery. So you actually employ people? I've got six guys. Wow. The red problem helped me in terms of how to manage your business, how to grow your business, and they give me a hope that the business can grow anytime. Thank you.